an open source automation tool that can be used for configuring system, deploying software, and performing complex IT tasks. It uses a simple human readable language called YAML to describe automation jobs and uses SSH to execute commands on remote systems. Ansible can be used to automate a wider variety of tasks, such as installing software, creating users, and managing services. It also supports a wide range of platforms and is easy to learn to making a popular choice among IT professionals. In this short video, I would like to show you how to do a Cisco device backup with a timestamp. Before I will carry on, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to help me grow the audience. <coughs> Ansible is a great tool to start with automation. If you are new to this subject, Ansible provides ready-made automation tools. I personally think it is much simpler to start with Ansible than for example with Python. I'm not saying that Ansible is a better for automation than Python or other tools or other languages, just I think it's much simpler to back in with. I will not be spending time here with installing Ansible on Linux. There are plenty of tutorials online. I will concentrate on running a single playbook for a backup and showing you a few tips and tricks how to use Ansible. Now let's quickly review my lab. Again, I'm running it all, all in Eve engine. I have a two routers there and one switch. I will run Ansible playbook from a Linux PC and now we can start with the lab. Up and running, I started it up. I have my Linux machine here. From here, I will be running the playbooks to back up the switch and two routers. So let's open my Linux machine. It's already running here. So I write the playbooks and I operate the playbooks from Visual Studio Code. You can use the normal text file or you can use other programs or other IDE to run the run the playbooks. I just find the Visual Studio Code very easy to use. Um, it also has pre-built terminals so I can um, I can run the uh, the commands directly from the Visual Studio but you can in the same way you can run them from a terminal or other ID programs. Um, obviously before you start playing with the playbooks uh, you should have the IP connectivity between your uh, automation uh, automation host, in my case the Linux PC, and the devices you want to run. So if I quickly have a look at the host file, I will be running against those devices. So we can just test. I have the IP connectivity. Five. Yeah, it's there, so that's good. And as I said, you can run the playbook directly from uh, from this terminal. I prefer to use the Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code terminal. Now, let's review the file. So the Ansible playbooks requires the playbook itself. This is where you specify the task you want to run against the, the remote host, and you need the host file. The host file will specify the host uh, on which the playbooks will run. You can all have them all under the one name, uh, under the routers, or if you have two different kinds, you can uh, separate them. So for example, as I have here, a section for routers, section for switches, and then I have a section for variables for the routers and the switches. So I'm just telling it what version of OS it is, what username and password to use to SSH into the device, and the con connection is the predefined Ansible connection network CLI. So it's the same for for the for the switch. If we look at the um, playbook itself, playbook is here. So the playbook it has its name. We specify what the host against we want to run against from the from the host file. So I specify here the routers. We don't need to gather the fax. Uh, we can have a different tutorial what the fax are, but we don't need it for, for this playbook. Now and, and now we have the task itself. So we give it a name. Uh, we will call the module from the playbook 
that is used in this uh, uh, in this playbook to run the backup and then we have some variable we need to specify so i want to run a backup yes and i have a backup option so once the backup is run i would like to save it with the host name of that device into the text file with the connection cfg and here is the directory in which i want to save it and pretty much that's it in the ansible what you need to do to just do the backup of the cisco device lots of stuff is pre-built out of the shelf and ready to use so let me uh, let me have a look quickly here and uh, run the playbook now i'm not running ansible playbook from its e default location which which is on the linux is etc slash ansible and so on i've moved it all into the my documents folder and and uh, obviously it's hooked up to the github and i have different folder for each projects when i'm running in ansible and for that reason if you run the ansible playbook just from a default command so if i do ansible playbook and i will specify the Try the first one, the backup.yaml. Uh, sorry, it is underscore. Backup.yaml. If I just specify like that, Ansible will look for the host file located in its default location, but in my case, there is no host file. So if I run it, it will fail because it says you're skipping. I haven't found any host. So what I need to do if I'm running it from a different location, or my host file is in a different location than its default. I need to specify, I need to specify the oh, my phone is running out of battery. That's fine. Uh, I need to specify the, the host file. And it's very simple. Same command, ansible playbooks playbook dash i and now i specify the host file so just to explain uh, my host file is located here and then the same uh, folder as my so so it's, it's in the same location as my playbooks just in a folder above so i need to specify the whole path with file name now i need to specify the playbook itself yaml okay underscore backup yaml and it should run the playbook now let's try it yes Complete it, it running again the router and the five and six. It didn't run it against the switch. We will look at it straight away. Why is that? But the playbook says so all green, seems seems all happy. Let's have a look at the location. Uh, so I'm in the location I specify in the playbook. Um, show output, and I can see five and six, just to be sure. So you know it didn't stay here uh, from the last time. I will delete it and quickly try the playbooks again <coughs> so it's there have a look at the file show output you can see it's here running in there have a look if we have output here yes backup of the device is there good stuff now let's have a look <coughs> why it runs against the routers and not the switch uh, if you look at the host file we have the switch under the different section switches routers and routers if i look at the playbook under the host i specify the router so if i want to run it against all the devices in my host file i just need to change to all I need to save the file now let's try it I Minimize this over here. Try the same. 
playbook I can see uh, it says the Ansible was says it runs again at 5 and 6 but there were no changes so th he left the file as it was before just added a file for the switch one let's look at that if that's true output yeah added a switcher so configuration is there good stuff uh, this is how simple it is to run Ansible playbook to do a backup of your devices and it doesn't matter in the host file there can be hundreds of devices you can just run it and have a backup of all devices now obviously the issue is here or not that it's not an issue but it would be nice to know when the backup when the backup runs you could see the files every time for every backup with a date with timestamp so you can see the day and time when it when it was saved into your directory. Obviously in my lab it's in the local directory, but you can save it to a remote directory to somewhere to, to, to your servers. Um, for that, I have a different playbook here, which only have new additional section. So it's exactly the same. I give it a name. I want to run again, all host. Again, I don't got to run any, any, any facts here, but under the task, I have a same section for running the backup. I've just uh, added a additional task to collect the local timestamp in this format, save it into the variable and append it into the file name once the backup is completed. So in theory, if I just run this, uh, this uh, playbook, uh, again, answer the playbook, the command dash I, then the location of the host file and I just need to change it because this play was called timestamp.yaml run it great stuff so we got all three of them there uh, switch router 5 and 6 now let's look at the location again show output you can see we have a three new backup files and they have a date and a time so every time the backup will run you will have a file with the date and time with the timestamp <clears throat> and it's much easier to find the right backup uh, if you need to restore any of the configuration now this is how simple it is to run the ansible playbook obviously you can write the same uh, war or you, 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 the same automation in a python or different language um, but ansible is ready off the shelf you don't have to write special section just for the ssh to the device um, how to deal with the certificates um, again this is very simple this is very simple playbook where we save the password obviously you can set up the ansible to query real radius for example to log in to log in to, to your devices but what I'm saying, if you want to start with the automation, maybe have a look at the Ansible and see if, um, if, if it can help you with your daily task. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.